What's going on you gamers? Today we're back with some more Diablo 2 Resurrected and I'm going to be going over some really nice places that you can farm if you've just reached hell. So if you're on Act 1 and you're maybe struggling a little bit because it's a little bit tougher now then here's a few spots that you may want to try farming as it may well help you to level up, gear up a little bit and progress further in the game. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. For today I'm here to show you a few places that I think could really help you out if you've just hit hell and you've realised now that your resistances are shot to pieces and everything is knocking you around. Now in general in this game there are an abundance of places that you can find to farm, to go and try different things, but there's a few that are a little bit easier than others and I would say in hell you're definitely going to need to know that. Although some of these might not be the best for loot, they are some of the easier ones to obtain loot if your build is just not spot on yet, meaning that you're probably struggling a little bit with damage and probably struggling to not get damaged. So first off, and just a great one all round, is going to the Black Marsh and then finding the Forgotten Tower. Now you may well have already done this because it is well worth doing and in here you're going to find someone called the Countess if you make your way all the way through the chambers and make your way to the fifth one, that's where she'll be. Also on your travel you're going to find a few rare enemies and tougher ones, it may well be worth taking them out if you can because they'll all have a good chance of getting a nice little drop. In general I found because the corridors were quite small in this and everything couldn't overwhelm you, as long as you stayed at a little bit of range, especially if you had a mercenary or some kind of companion or something to tank for you, this was really really nice and you can find some nice drops here and of course when you make your way towards that countess she's always going to be dropping those runes, meaning that if you are struggling for gear and you want to make something yourself from rune words this may be the go to choice as soon as you've hit hell and she'll be able to drop some really nice runes here and you may be able to create something that will help you out an absolute abundance later on. I must admit I farm this quite often, the runes are really nice, just chuck them in your stash and when you do manage to have a complete word that you need to make, they'll be right there for you, you just need to find a nice base for them to put them on that has enough slots. Now next up, and this one's a little bit of a leisurely one of sorts, it's not the fastest for farming gear but it is one that's the earliest in the game that has the chance of being able to give you some really nice loot because it's the first one in the game with level 85 enemies and that's in the mausoleum. Now to get here you're going to need to go to the cold plains waypoint and from there you're going to need to have a little walk around and find yourself burial grounds. From here you may want to take out Raven as she could net you something nice but even more so than that you'll want to make your way into the mausoleum. It's not the crypt down the bottom, you want to make sure you go up to the top. Now there's a few reasons that I actually like it here, one is if you've came here very very early to hell, so for example you've managed to get here at 55, 56, anything under 60, you probably will be struggling. I found this quite leisurely, it wasn't too tough and all in all there's not many ads that actually come towards you. Now obviously that's a bit of a double edged sword because it means you won't be able to farm this crazy, there's not going to be loads to clear, but it also means you're not going to die probably, as long as you stay at a little bit of range again and just don't get right into the mix of things because I think a few of them do tend to explode sometimes. Also be aware there is a bit of lightning immunity here, so if your build fully revolves around lightning it may not be the best option at all. But in general this is a nice easy place to farm, you can find some really nice bases for gear as I'll show you at the end of this I found I think it was two that were absolutely amazing, one of them was an Amazon one, the other one was just a standard sword but both had six slots pretty much maxed out, really nice, like I said it's the first level 85 instance, you may not grab anything first time, you may not grab anything second or third time but it may well be worth coming here to try your luck every once in a while, level up gear up a little bit, there's quite a few tougher enemies in here that have the chance to drop some nice loot, so make your way through the rooms and corridors and just check every one as well as open up some of the tombs and such. There will obviously be better farming places later on down the line but if you've come here and you're definitely not ready to take on some of the tougher enemies this is a place where you may be able to pick something up with a bit of luck. Now last but definitely not least, and this one actually doesn't revolve around a hell instance, it's actually a nightmare one, but you will need to have completed nightmare in order to do it, and that's the secret cow level. 
Now, just in case you don't know how to do that, I will chuck a link up top right explaining that. But if you do, I would say it's definitely worth going back to Nightmare and trying that a few times over. You can net yourself some really nice goods. I've found a few rares there, a few uniques. You manage to level up quite nice and easily if you're low level when you go here. Honestly, all around, it's just a nice, easy farm. Also, it's all self-confined in that one space, so you don't have to worry about too much. You don't have to travel too far. Obviously, you will have to do the quest each time, but in general, it's a really nice one to do. And again, there's quite a few enemies in there that can drop you some really nice loot with a little bit of luck. Don't forget nowadays with the update you can quite easily kill the cow king, do whatever you want in here because it's not going to stop you from coming back here. You can do this an infinite amount of time now so it's a lot of fun to replay and like I said just a lot of fun to gear up, grab a lot of gems, it does drop some runes every once in a while as well and I find it's just quite a nice easy relaxing farm to do. Royal Gamers, hopefully those spots will help you out a little bit. I found that they were quite nice in order to get me a little bit further in hell and gear up a little bit and of course get some nice bases for those room words for later on. Also another spot you may want to try would maybe be Bow in Nightmare, just making your way from checkpoint 2 and 3 and getting to him nets you quite a lot of experience. So again if you're struggling for experience that may be one to try. Now the reason I said these spots as opposed to some of the other ones is because I found with hardly any magic find gear on, these were the spots that tended to work quite well in my favour. Later on, once you've got magic find, and later on once you're more geared up, they'll definitely be better spots. When I find them, I'll bring them to you. But as always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox. Take care. I'll see you on the next day.